Talking Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today at work with Belsif, we just finished a job at Survey Yard, doing a little windshield action. Now we're just cutting through Wyoming here, and we're going to go to uh, Wofford and look at a uh, tractor. We got a case tractor where the windshield's falling out. If he's not around, I'll let you watch. But if he's around, I might still let you watch. But we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to ask him. Hey, do you mind if I record myself? He'll probably say yes, or he'll probably say no, and I should start bringing him out because I need to start doing a little a few more uh, videos of the old work. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. Why wouldn't you? Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the uh, the bell at the top there to be notified for any new videos that come out. I notice the old YouTube count down a little bit right now. I think people are getting bored of me. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Let me know. Can't fix what I don't know is broken, Jim. But we're just going to cruise here. It's a crappy looking day out. It's cloudy again. Yesterday ran all, rained all day. And I haven't done a video in a few days. Sorry about that. I apologize. I was out uh, camping with the family. And then we come back. Had a little clip with mom. Me and mom got a scape out to the old dollar store there. Which was real exciting. Do you believe me? Probably not. I wouldn't. Sold the Maverick Air. The first one. She's gone, D-boys. Girls, peoples. I got rid of her. She's just sitting there collecting dust. Not using it. I got two. I had three drones. I only need two. One breaks, I'll buy another one. That's how it works. Out the door she went, and I let her go pretty cheap, 450 bucks. But it was down a couple times, so it's like buying an airplane that's been crashed. It wouldn't do it. So you gotta discount the I got my use out of it. I paid uh, 750 for it. I used it for a little while. Got 450 for it. So I did alright. Didn't pay for itself, by all means. It cost me more to make videos than it does to friggin' get paid to do videos, it does. Should help dirty old Bill Sav out by telling people to subscribe to the channel. Why wouldn't you? That'd be decent. It's better it wasn't a perfect world. Then we'd all be set. Drink them if you got them. Nothing like a homebrew. Smoke them if you got them. Not for me though. That's what it is. That's why people don't watch me as much because I'm not smoking cigarettes in my videos. I know I'm going to get comments there and say, no, that's all the reason. Don't be stupid. But we're going to keep rolling here and see what happens. Go from there. So I just want to show you this. I'm basically working on a case. 215. The windshields are friggin' coming loose and falling out of this tractor. The bottom one pretty much just fell right out for me. The other side's loose and the windshield's loose. So because I don't have anybody with me today, I'm gonna just back seal the windshield because he doesn't want to remove the roof because the roof has got to come off because he can't get it in behind the cowl unless the roof comes off. So he can't set it in unless you remove all that stuff. So I'm just gonna reseal the bottom two, back seal the top one to stop it from uh, leaking and moving around. I'd rather just pull the whole thing out, but like I said, it's not an option today. This is the only option I got today. I'm going to get this done, show you how I make out. Why wouldn't I? Well, there we go. Another one done. Captain. So I did end up taking out two bottom windows on that tractor, resealing them, putting them back in, resealing the windshield, and uh, resealing along the outside of the windshield. So she's solid. And it looks pretty good. The customer's back there, so I didn't want to pull the camera out, but we got her, Captain. Now we gotta get back to town, it's 12 o'clock and I still gotta eat lunch and we've got two more jobs to do yet. So we gotta get friggin' rolling. Well, we did her. We made her through another day. Now I can go home and tell the wife I did it. I won. Maybe. Frig. Look over there, can you see that? Look at that old friggin' Winnie Bego friggin' or whatever you call him. Airstream. Motorhome. Decent. Friggin' right, that's decent. I want one. So I'm all caught up, so I'm gonna go back to the shop. I got an hour left to work. It gives me enough time to wind down and relax for a bit. So uh so I'll talk to you when I'm done. Well I gotta do the oil change, that's so radio too. Frank. Well, there you are. You're in the Chevy Silverado, so you know what that means. It's home time. Okay. But the old Chevy Silverado is pulling another code it is. It's pulling a knock sensor code. Of course the knock sensor in a Chevy Silverado has got to be underneath the friggin' intake manifold so you got to remove it to change both knock sensors because don't take it apart just to change one you might as well change both. But I got a spring project coming up. I'm hoping to maybe with my friend Trevor slap a little turb ski in the old Chevy Silverado. So leave your comments down below and let me know if you'd like to see something like that happen. But that would be, like I said, spring and 
depending on whether the Vanaruski sells or not. Just so you know, the old Vanaruski is for sale. I think I told you that, but you'll know again now. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll get that gone, and then uh, Bob's your friggin' uncle, Captain. So I'm getting mosey on home, have some din din, maybe do a little Edaruski, and then we'll go from there. So hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am, enjoying their day working or not working. I know I haven't had much good content for you lately, but bear with me. It's been kind of slow lately and not much going on. So bear with me. That's why I put out too many videos lately. She'll be slow for another couple of weeks, but then once look out, scout, because something's coming. I can feel it. I just don't know what it is yet. So have a good night. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And you know what to do for now.